Hey guys, uh, it's Spence, and yeah, today is Thursday, in case you were wondering. Um, what are we doing? Um, I'm gonna finish putting some buttons on these, um, ear savers, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into, um, a new pattern, because I can't find my squid. And, uh, like, I know he was- oh, there he is! Well, too late. I'll- So the bag that the squib- the squid was in, uh, was hiding. I didn't see it. But, I already started and said that I would do this mouse toy and this mouse, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um... Yeah. So here we are. Let's see. Hey, Walter. Um, I had a meeting with the lady from the hospital and her colleague this morning. That's great. I would love to hear how that went. Uh, as for my meme, um, it was really nice to get to see her. My aunt and uncle were at the house as well, helping her clean um when i got there and she gave me a giant bag of cotton yarn not so many buttons as i had hoped you know, for the button queen but i did pick up um i did order a bunch of buttons from um michael's and it uh and drove there afterwards. Um, fantastic. I'm glad they're going to test all of it. And, and hopefully they get. Um, they're able to use it. Um, but yeah. I, went, I just went and did a bunch of errands today. As well as going to see her. And it was just really hard not to hug her. Um, so. We did the little distance hug, which kind of looks like a Wakanda salute, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, and then I got a, an email, uh, from another nursing home asking for more ear savers. Um, they put in an order for 30, so as soon as I'm finished with the, uh, the ones for my local hospital, um, I will get started with that order. Part of me wants to just make the, the large ones and then put multiple buttons on them, but that requires me using more buttons and buttons are harder to get a hold of than, uh, than the yarn. So. Um, I do have a fellow Fibromancer who is doing the Concord Hospital, uh, order. Um, the, the thing is, is that, um, she has a day job that she still works from home. Uh, so, but she and I started the business together. Um, so, and I've also put the, um, pattern out there as well. So, you know, it's not just me who's who's doing it it's just apparently um i have a lot of people in the healthcare system who are sharing my work so and val my uh my fellow fibromancer crochets a lot faster than i do when she has a pattern and just cranks them out um usually on the weekends so one of the things i'm going to work on is possibly doing like a one-off uh, stream with her and um and maybe our friend Nettie and just do a crafting chat okay all right so I'm just gonna finish putting a button on this one since I had already started it and uh go from there hey Kim um 
Let's see here. Oh, good. I'm glad they love the, the, the ear savers. Um, um, and I did get to see Kim today. It was through a window, but we got to see each other for a couple minutes. So that was good. Um, honestly, a lot of this is, is getting to me, so I really just, I'm looking to have the healing properties of music right now, um, along with crocheting and making something adorable, um, to, to help me reset. Jen's drawing a sea turtle today. Oh, that's adorable. I can't wait to see it when she puts it up on, uh, Instagram. <laughs> I was not the only excitement of your day, to be fair. You had you had another driveway visit. <sighs> so yeah. Just um secure so I ran out of buttons the other day or yesterday. And so I tried a couple of things with, um, fabric buttons did not work well. So, um, you know, I, that's part of the reason I needed to go and get more buttons today. So if anybody wants to donate buttons on, uh, the fiber mancers for hire Facebook page, um, we uh, we have an address to send uh, any any buttons if you have them. They need to be at least three quarters of an inch uh, in size, and they need to be these ones with the holes in the middle. Um, no metal buttons because those ones are um, those ones are difficult to to use in this capacity. Yes, uh, Kim and I are, are friends in real life. Kim makes my face look pretty. Even though I don't show my face on the podcast. Or on the channel. Okay. Um, so that's that. Let's, let's make, let's make a thing. Let's see. Is this the right one? Yeah, there it is. So, first up is we're going to make a little mouse. Now I have some pretty yarn here. And the reason I want to use the pretty yarn instead of the gray yarn is that if I use the gray yarn, it's going to scare me because I'm going to think it's a real mouse when I try to walk through my house late at night without my glasses on. All right. So I've already made the tail. This is the tail. So let's see. You could at that, um, you could print some 3d print some buttons. Um, I'm sure that would actually work. I've just been using um, the ones that these ones here that I just finished putting on the um, the ear savers. These are coconut shells. Finished coconut shells. I think they're pretty cool looking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to make uh, um, buttons because you can make the other, the other um, 3D print file. Okay, so we've already made the tail. So we're on to the body, which is this part. So round one. This is worked in a spiral. 
Okay. Chain one. Oh, we work this into the tail. All right, then. Seven single crochet into the last stitch of the tail. Okay, then. That's fantastic. Um, so, and if you're watching this later on, Walter has donated uh, five styluses and 11 ear, knob, ear, ear knobs, ear guards uh, to his local hospital. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I'm doing right now is looking for some uh, not the same colored or textured um, yarn to use as a stitch marker since this is going to be small and we're going to be working in the round. I'm going to trim these a little bit because they're in my way. I have a tiny pile of ends over here. Um, okay. So probably on Monday I'll get an email to see did anything need to be improved. That's fantastic. Um, all right, so. put the um, stitch marker here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. You, I don't think you need to worry too much about that, honestly. Um, so just kind of take a deep breath. Um... Okay, one, two. Sorry, that, that other hospital just emailed me back and I'm going, uh, I will I will email her tomorrow. I love being useful, but today I am tired. I'm just very, very tired. And that's why I'm taking a break. I'm taking a break from the news. I'm taking a break from um, um, from making the um, ear savers. I'm gonna slip into one of my favorite podcasts later tonight while I'm eating mac and cheese and. Uh, Give my brain a little bit of a reprieve. Chain 
Sure. Um, there, you don't need to ask to write uh, words of encouragement. They are usually very helpful, um, even when people don't know that they need them. So Walter says, you got this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and last two. One, two, all right. And so we flip over the yarn counter. Oh, oops. So we just finished round two, we are on round three. One single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so we're doing a single crochet and then an increase. <laughs> well, the, the problem with the, uh, the statement of those huckers, those huckers are the brain weasels in my brain. Because um, I'm getting nothing but awesome uh, reviews from my stuff. Um, But I'm just I'm having I'm having a hard time. Uh, I'm having a hard time resting. <laughs> um, Walter also says you got you got you and no one can take that away. And they I'm assuming meaning the uh, brain weasels can't even though. Thank you. I appreciate that. It was nice to see Kim. It was nice to see uh, my friend Amanda, who works at the local herbs sh herb store. Um, it's just hard because I usually hug my friends and uh, and I can't. Not yet. And um, I'm I'm gonna get a little sad here, but you know, um, I had a thought of hugging my partners and um and it made me cry because i don't know when that's going to be so i have problem accepting praise so i spent the whole meeting wondering whether they were just saying it. um doctors don't have time to be polite hospitals don't have time to be polite so if they were meeting with you uh, it was because they thought that what you were doing had potential to be worthwhile. So, um, if they didn't think what you were doing was intriguing and possibly worthwhile, they would not have responded to your email. And that that's, um, or they would have sent you a polite refusal at the at the most. And that's coming from uh, my family experience with hospitals. Deep breaths, Walter, deep breaths. And you know what? You know what helps, and it's going to help me. It's going to help you. Everybody drink some water. So yeah, it's just a very emotional day, that's all. And we'll get through this because we do, because we do. Um, but I do also want to say that bad days are totally allowed. Um, well, I just took a swig of my water. So, you know, whatever you feel is appropriate to slake your thirst. Um, this is not a chugging contest. So even though you can drink 1.4 liters in two minutes, I don't recommend that you do. All right, so we are on round 
four. And that is single crochets all the way around. You got it, boss. But yeah, I usually find if I'm super irritated or upset, I need to either drink some water or eat some food. <gasps> did you? What did you think of the first couple of episodes? Yes, it is. It is some very good fan service. Um, uh, Food Wars is a very fan servicey show, and the further you get into it, you're going to also see some homages to different tropes. And uh, they are both ridiculous and wonderful, in my opinion. I actually started re-watching it the other night, too. Because <laughs> it was making me feel good. And then I renewed my Funimation... Um, a subscription and I start I watched the most recent episode of Fruits Basket because Fruits Basket is back and then I also started watching season four of My Hero Academia which um, I have not read it does it have a nosebleed one not really um, so so the nice thing about Soma um, the main character is that he is very dense and generally unaffected, unaffected by, um, or does not notice people flirting with him. And so, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any of the, oh my God, pretty person, my nose is going to bleed. If I remember correctly. Um, and that's one of the things I actually really like about it. Oh, Megami? Megami is one of my favorite characters in this whole show. And um, she earns her place um, really well later in the, uh, later in the series. Um, like... She's, she's a tough cookie, even though she she looks like a kind of a, a doofus in the beginning. Um, it's, it's not a lack of skill. It's a lack of confidence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I realized that, too. I was watching it on headphones with uh, my headphones on. Um, and the, uh, the loud noises... Um, the, the sensuous noises that people were making after eating food um, can get a little awkward because you know exactly what it's supposed to be. But we are going to keep the rest of this clean because of the fact that I am not marking this as mature content and I want this to be accessible for anybody who decides to have their ch children watch this. Oh no, there is no quiet enjoyment of, uh, of food. There is very uh, descriptive language around how you're going to enjoy this food because this food is, is, is ecstasy. One, two, three, four. Whoop. Oh. One, two, three, four. Nope, I am on five now oops good thing that I'm doing single crochet for a couple rows huh one but really uh, uh, af after the first episode that's the worst it's gonna get for uh, and by worst I mean most cringy that that it gets um for a bit yes 
Yes, the God Tongues descriptions are the best, um, such as taking a bath with a lowland gorilla. Um, if you are watching the English dub, um, her having a valley girl accent just makes that so much better. <laughs> Alrighty, row six is starting. So, I found out that one of my roommate... So my roommate gets AIDS three days a week. And one of the things that um, the aides can do is prepare meals. So um, thankfully, uh, that's what our aide today has done, has done prep, uh, food prep for the weekend, um, which I'm extremely grateful for because it's one less thing I have to do. That's okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I do change gears a lot, but the, uh, the the whole reason for me saying anything about it is because I just heard his aide leave for the day. So, but I know that the meal prep is done, and that is what is important. Yes, meals are good. Um, I mean, it's it's going to be a simple um, mac and cheese and chicken, but still, it's something. Alrighty, so now we are on row seven. So what does seven say? Um, one single crochet in the next five stitches and then a decrease okay so what that looks like is one two Four, five, and a decrease. One. Four, five, and a decrease. And so, uh, I had rice with Gouda cheese and Frank's Red Hot for lunch. Okay, that's cool. One, two, three, four, five, And 
decrease. Why is this off? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Shit. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Okay, so. So what we have is 24 stitches in instead of 21. So how am I going to do that? So here, 21 divided by 3 is, no, 24 divided by 3 is 8. So if I do 6 single crochet and a decrease, that will get me all the way around. Okay. Sometimes crochet is math. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a decrease. One, two, three, Decrease one, two, three, four, five. And a decrease. All right, that's fine, Walter. Um, I'm just going to be here. So if you feel like coming back, come on back. All right, so got that decrease. So now we are on row eight. One single crochet in each stitch. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty-one. Okay. All right. So now, now I'm gonna do the. Um, since since it started out bigger, um, I'm just gonna basically go back to. I'll, I just have to look back to row seven for the pattern. Um, so it'll be. Um, five single crochets and then a decrease. Two. Now I could go back and um, just undo it all and start again. I don't see a reason to though. The, the mouse will just be a little bigger. That's not a huge deal. So one, two, three, four, five, and then decrease. Okay. All right. All right, so single crochet all around
And so we're on 11. 11 is a decrease round. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go back two rows. There we go. And that'll just make it easier going forward. It's just going to be two rows longer. So single crochet all the way around helps if I put tension on the correct yarn. Now I've turned this inside out and the reason being is that it's just easier to work the stitches in this way. Um, once I am done, I'm going to turn it back the right way. One, two, three, and a decrease. Alrighty, so now we are on So now we have to do this part I'm going to flip it inside out Well, right side out
Okay. So, single crochet in the next six. To make the first year, slip stitch, half double crochet, 2DC. Okay, so let's do the first six first. So, one. Oops. There we go. So, one, two, So then, in this one stitch, we'll do a slip stitch, half double, two double, so one, two, one, two. And then another half double and a slip stitch. Single crochet two stitches. Okay. And then make the second ear. So slip stitch, half double crochet, I think my cat is uh, causing trouble. Right, so this is the half double crochet and two doubles. A half double. Not a single, it's a slip stitch. There we go. Alright. And then next two stitches, single crochet. Single crochet in next six stitches, okay. Five, six, all right, and then 
skip fold ears back onto body to access stitches Okay, so we're skipping over the ears. One, two, and then skip over this ear. And so now we stuff. And I've got all these lovely ends from all of the uh, um, uh, ear savers that I've been making, so I can use those as stuffing. And one thing that I did was I made sure that the uh, the stitch that we're on, that I left a lot of room for it so that it doesn't come unraveled. I'm just going to pull it out a little bit so it doesn't get stuck. I could put a little bit of catnip in here if I want, but I don't. Oh boy, we got a big knot here, so how am I going to fix that? I'm going to fix it by cutting, it's just stuffing. says to pack firmly so that's what I'm gonna do
and part of the reason that they probably do that is so that you um, there's some little push out for the nose once you finish crocheting it. I think that's good because we're bursting at the seams here now. That's fine. So 14, single crochet into the next two stitches. Single crochet in the next three stitches. single crochet in the next stitch. Crochet. Yeah, that is this one. Okay, and then that's the end of the row. So I can take the row counter out and then it says decrease four times so one two one two One, oops, one, two. And then I'm going to cut it off. So 
all nice and tight. And then I'm going to do this fun trick, which is go inside and go right up to where these strings are, wrap them around the hook, and pull it down. I realized you just couldn't see that because I had it too close to my face. But we'll all live. I'm just going to give him a little bit of a nose, or a little bit more of a nose. And then... We shove the needle through his body. Okay, pull out the nose, like so. The nice thing is my cat is not going to care about all this stuff. Ta-da! We have a little mousy. The mousy says hello. So, that's what it's supposed to look like. I think we did a pretty good job. And he's cute. But my cat's currently out making trouble. So, um, what time is it? All right, we still got 50 minutes. So I'm gonna work on some more year savers now, I guess. Because that's what we do, right? Make a nice secure little anchor. And I realize I'm a little bit of a downer today. But that's okay. Like I said, everybody's allowed to have down days. Everybody's allowed to talk about their down days. I think that's a stigma that we need to um, that we need to get rid of. Um, if you're having a down day, 
and you don't tell people about it, your, your friends aren't telepathic. So, you know, it's okay. And you're going to get through the next breath, the next few steps, that next task that you have to do. And it is going to be okay. As, as much as things feel not okay. Because they're not. All you can do is honor how you're feeling. Rest when you need it. Um, drink water, speaking of. drink some water with me mm. it helps if I put the right command in here we go because it's two hydrogen and one oxygen all right I do like these coconut buttons I'm gonna have to try to order those again they just have a really nice feel to them nice and secure. And this is also one of the good things about crochet cotton is it's really good. Um, for fast and easy button secure securing buttons. I have regular thread too. But this was like an end piece. And, I mean, I've gotten through over 30 uh, um, ear savers, so that's over 60 um, over 60 uh, um, buttons that I've sewed on with this little ball of crochet thread. Like it's a remnant from some, uh, from uh, when I was doing needle tatting and making snowflake ornaments, which I can probably still do, but this is more important. All right. So yeah. These have a really cool back and front. Come on. Alrighty. There's that one. So I have 15 small ones and five large ones. I think I want to do five more large ones and uh, five more small ones to go to 
the Exeter Hospital, and then I'll start working on the next order. And the question is, no, I have one done. I need to put buttons on it. So when, when you see me looking like that, what I'm looking for are these, um, these ends. I want to leave a little bit of an end sticking out, mostly because otherwise it's just going to fray. Um, so let me do that. Hey, um, welcome back. Uh, so let me pull back the uh, finished project if my cat hasn't stolen it. Nope, here it is. All right, so here is the mousy stuffed with yarn bits and bobs and a little bit of scrap um, t shirt. And I'm sure Totoro will love it. And then the other thing you missed is that I decided I was going to make um, five more, uh, oh, no worries, um, but since I'm in the middle of saying it, I'll do five more of the large um, ear savers and um, five more. Uh, small ones and we'll make it an even 30 that's going to Exeter Hospital so the question is do I want to use because I'm out of the teal so I could use this what did I just use to make is aid one. This is like silk. Um, ah, here's the one that I just used. So we'll make some with that. And we'll use the dark side of the coconut um, buttons. Unless I run out of them. Um, in which case, I have those. Oh, I have another package of them. Yes. Perfect. So, I have all those. I have more coconut buttons. I have some more wooden ones. And I've got this fun set from Meme. Um, so... I'll probably actually I think I'll use the fun set with this white as a because I think that'll be fun like I've made a bunch of plain ones and by plain I just mean one color and um, wooden or in this case nut based um, uh, buttons. So as you can see, I had a button on here yesterday. I made fabric buttons, um, and they did not work well. So I took them off because I wasn't going to um, use something that didn't work very well. I also had metal buttons, and those also did not work well. So I did some experimentation to see if I could use other buttons in my arsenal 
And the answer was no. But that is all part of experimentation. Um, because when you experiment with anything, sometimes, a lot of the time, you fail first. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now why do I do the, that pull test? Because I would hate for these to fail in the middle of something. So. Alrighty. And we're going to move this over here over to Maynard and there you go. Alrighty, so we're going to use some of these so we're going to make the next few with this white crochet, well, off-white crochet thread. I'll clear my space so that I don't lose things and... Ah, there it is. I'm like, this isn't the right one. So that's five. This one's four. And this one is three, which is what the um, pattern calls for. Now I think I'm going to have a bit of an easier time with this thread because it's not as thick as this thread. So we'll see. So we're doing, we need four more of each. We'll start with the big ones and get them over with. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. All right, you are a little too loud, friend. So we're gonna switch over to this one. And somewhere in here is elk meditation, which I like. There we go. Let's slow this down a little bit. A 
watching it before every uh, story in um, LeVar Burton's uh, LeVar Burton reads um, he's, he actually says let's take a deep breath and that's really important to reset alright hold on I want to make sure I got to 32 so 3 6 9 12 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 31, 32. Okay. Great. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. I showed my meme how to make these today when I went over to her house because um, she's also a crocheter and I was just like it's really easy and she has my phone number now so she can call me if she forgets she also has a li link to this uh, twitch page so maybe one day she'll watch that'd be cool in which case hi Meme. But yeah, we need to switch gears from the high pace, uh, high pace techno. I don't even have my chat up. I can't see if uh Yeah, nobody's here. That's fine. So if you're watching this on YouTube, first of all, thank you. I appreciate you. Secondly, I do this live. I I do crocheting live on Twitch uh Wednesday through Friday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. So, feel free to pop on and join me. If you wanna be working on your own stuff, that's cool. Um, I do talk with people in the chat. And if nobody happens to be in the chat, um, I will hang out and keep crocheting. Um, and sometimes I will talk about charity things, like what I'm about to, about to talk about right now. So my friend, the Tea Monster on Twitch, um, he has been doing a charity, um, uh, a charity stream for uh, for about a month, or he's in in the process of doing a month long charity stream, um, raising money for No Kid Hungry. They are a uh, organization that provides um, lunches and uh, that provides food for children and for um, families that don't have food security for whatever reason. Um, they especially did this during uh, the summer. Like they provided lunches during the summer when school was out. Um, now they are finding ways to do food uh, drives for um, this global emergency that we're in. Um, they take the money from the donations and for every dollar donated it becomes uh, 10 meals. Now in two weeks, just two weeks, T's channel has raised 
over $1,800. That translates to 18,000 meals. And that's fantastic. Um, I was there when he hit 1,800, actually. Um, and he's still going. He's got a lofty goal of 10,000 by uh, the end of the month. Um, so, fingers crossed, he can get there. So I'm going to post a link in chat and I'll put it in the show notes as well. Um, oh. Let me do that again. Um, I didn't feel like duplicating the effort, so I'm just sending everybody to T's link um, to donate and on his channel he does fun things like uh um he was playing destiny with some of his friends on their least familiar classes uh which was highly entertaining to watch um and he's got he's got a lot of different variety programming on the stream so it's definitely worth a watch and um, donating is awesome because we all want to make sure that everybody can eat during this time um, what else was I gonna say oh um if you want to donate towards us getting materials um, for making these ear um, ear savers, um, both Val and I are, are working on this. Mostly, what we need is buttons. Um, we have cotton yarn galore. Uh, it's it's just the buttons that are a little more difficult to find. So we've been like raiding Michaels. Um, so you can either send us buttons, um, or you can, uh, donate money, um, that we will then spend on buttons, um, or shipping, uh, for these ear savers. Um, we're going to send them to our local hospitals first, um, and we've got a couple of nursing homes that are near and dear to us that we're probably going to supply them. Um, the, there's a nursing home that just reached out to me right, right before the stream, um, ordering 30 of these. So, you know, hopefully, um, we'll be able to provide some relief for all of these wonderful healthcare workers who are facing unimaginable, um, strain under this emergency. A lot of them don't like to be called heroes. They just want us to do our part to not spread this thing. What is that? Oh, well, it's gone now. I got it. Oh, there it is. It's like a thorn or something. I know my mama has pricker bushes, so maybe she had this outside at one point. Um, so you can find all of that information on our Facebook page. Um, I have yet to put it up on the Fibromancer for Hire page. So, um, uh, the Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Fibromancers for Hire, just like you see down below my hands. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you're able and willing if you're a healthcare worker and you would like some of these, contact us um, because we want to help. We want to provide you guys whatever comfort that we can. Um, both Val and I, um, we know a lot of healthcare workers. Um, we really appreciate what you do. So yeah, um, there is a donate button down below. 
it's uh, it's a picture of Maynard uh, sitting and looking at my first batch of ear savers going, yes, it's not enough, but yes. As you can tell, cabin fever has hit. Well, not entirely, because I'm the one who goes out and does the does the errands. Um, but yeah, good good cure for cabin fever. Watch Muppets Treasure Planet, and then sing the cabin fever song. It just feels good. I highly recommend, as we were talking about earlier, watching things that make you smile, make you chuckle. Um, because it provides a, a break. A break from all these stressful times that we're dealing with. even if you watch the movie a hundred times if there is a movie that never fails to make you laugh and not just like a <laughs> but a big hearty belly laugh watch that movie watch that TV show I love the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nine-Nine personally I think their antics are hilarious Or Food Wars, as we were talking about. Um, I'm also finally watching season four of My Hero Academia. Um, and the new Fruits Basket has started to come out. Yay! Alright. So we've got this one. I'm going to use the dark side of these buttons. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. We said we were going to use the fun buttons. Let's see. What do we got? Ooh. You want to do a couple flowers? I want to do a couple flowers. Let's do a couple flowers. Yeah? Yeah. I like it. I dig it. Food Wars is great, but it is not for children. Um, just saying. Not at all for children. Um, but if you are not in the company of small ones and you do not mind um, raunchy humor, then I highly... Um, Highly, highly, highly recommend the wonderful ridiculousness that is Food Wars. It feels good. Um, it it makes you hungry. I'm not gonna lie. It makes you very hungry. Um, because the animation is beautifully done when they are preparing food. Um, so yeah, if you can get through the first episode, you're going to enjoy uh, the, the rest of the series is not that um, intense. Because they're, they try not to be a one trick pony. In my opinion. And if you want to come on the Twitch stream and gab at me about it and be like, why? I would love that. It's my favorite thing. Uh, watching it remotely with my girlfriend 
um, was probably the best series of date nights that I've ever had. All right, one down, one to go. So my cat ninjaed his way into the bedroom. And he is curled up with the new, uh, with the new mouse. So clearly I did good. Alrighty. Okay. This one is so stinking cute. I'm also going to make, since I've got two more of those flower ones, I'm going to make a small one with the flowers as well. think sound is off oh sound is off on your monitor got it so yes no yes no super cute oh goodness you can't see that too let me fix that there we go. Put the black buttons behind it. The black buttons are there for when I run out of fun buttons. Okay. So needle to the side all right small one Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. One,
yeah, this is definitely easier with um, this crochet cotton that's actually meant for the three millimeter um, hook. So the stuff that I was using, this stuff is actually meant for a five millimeter hook. So if you look, it's actually significantly bigger than um, than this yarn. It's making all the difference in the world in how much work my hands have to do. Because if you noticed yesterday, I was having a real hard time pulling through. Um, and I think it's, it's just because I was using um, too heavy a weight of um, crochet. Alrighty. You know what else is a good show for um, for laughs? If you like English comedy, which I do, um, the IT crowd is really good. Just saying. Especially if you've worked in a customer service job or in IT.
Now, since I got the um, the new order, and I'm probably not going to be doing um, crochet or uh, cosplay Friday this this week, I'm just going to be working on those orders because they are a little bit more important than my uh, my pet projects. However, I have fun buttons. So, if you feel like watching me make more of these and chatting, I am happy to do so. Absolutely happy to do so. Hey, Shane. So, we made a little stuffed mouse earlier. And uh, Totoro is currently rolled up with it. So, um, can't show you. But it was cute. You just have to trust me. And so we got another order in for these ear savers um, from a nursing home. So I am working on it. And my meme, my gran, my grandmother, um, gave me uh, some fun buttons here. Um, I also picked up some more buttons. And then she gave me a giant bag full of cotton yarn. And this particular cotton yarn is more suitable to the size um, hook that I'm using. So uh, it's going a lot smoother. But I also really wanted to use these, these uh, flower buttons because they're so cute. They're so cute. So that's three that we've finished. Aren't they cute? Um, I think this is where I'm going to call it today. Um, I, I do want to remind you all that you can donate to um, our friend the Tea Monsters uh, charity here. Um, very nice recording a reaction podcast to the new Red Dwarf. I actually have a podcast to edit that's not mine, but I love the podcast, so I'm happy to do it, but I have that to do later. Um, you can find, uh, this session on YouTube, um, and I will have the links in the description. Um, all of the music uh, that we've played today uh, is co is copyright free um, on, and approved by Twitch, which is why you're hearing it. Um, some of it is by Kevin McLeod. Uh, let's see. What else am I supposed to say? Thanks for being with me. Um, keep your head up, remember to drink water, uh, all that other good stuff, we are going to make it, and I will be back here tomorrow, we're going to make more of these, uh, as we, uh, try to fill all the orders that are coming in, it's kind of awesome, and also needed. Until next time, friends, stay safe, eat what you want, and I love you, bye.